Hello BC, this is the Beetleman69. Today I'm going to share with you um, some recent vinyl finds that I found at a uh, local thrift store that I go to. And I did, I did a pretty good job finding some really good albums and records. Um, the first thing I found was Paul McCartney's A Wings Junior's Farm on Apple Records. Back with Sally G. This was recorded in 1974. It's in pretty good shape. I gotta clean it up. It's got fingerprints on it and whatnot, but nothing that can't be remedied. Next thing, uh, a little 45 I um, got a hold of was George Harrison's Give Me Love, Give Me Peace on Earth from his Living in Material World LP. On the B side, Miss O'Dell, a throwaway song. Um, not Beatle related, but I got Boston's Amanda from 1986. It has been coined probably one of the best love songs ever um, recorded. And we could be debatable, but it's a really great song, a great comeback song for Boston. And on the B side, it has My Destination. I had another one right here. And I was really excited to find this. Credence Clearwater Revival. 45 Fortunate Son with Down on the Corner from 1969 with the pic original picture sleeve. And an original fantasy. And a few LPs that I got a hold of. Um, this one's been there for a while since I've been going up there and just decided finally to pick it up. McCartney 2. Gatefold. Unfortunately, whoever had the album must have retained the, the bonus 45 because it wasn't in here. Inner sleeve, records in really, really great shape. The album label, Columbia. And Red Rose Speedway from Paul McCartney and Wings from 1973. And the gatefold has a little booklet in here. And the album, let's see, oh, upside down, on Apple Records. And the strange thing about this, fellow on YouTube, me and Mr. Mayo, I encourage you to subscribe to his channel. I'm a subscriber to his channel. He would just review this album on Saturday, which is the day I bought it, on um, August 2nd, I think it is. And I went up there that very day to go find some um, vinyl, and lo and behold, I find this one. The very one he reviewed, and I was really excited. This is the last McCartney album I need for Paul's 1970s releases. And finally, last but not least, I'm not a big fan of American releases of Beatle albums prior to 1967, but when I saw this, it was just get it or forget it, and I got it. The Beatles 6, original pressing. Unfortunately, whoever had it decided to color in the V, but... A hey, second hand, what can you do? Got the original stereo pressing right here. 
I haven't played it yet. I gotta clean it up. It's got fingerprints and whatnot on it. But I got it. Paid a little more for it than I really wanted to, but it wasn't terribly expensive. But hey, being is an original pressing, I wasn't gonna argue with them. All right, that's all I got. Um, I appreciate it. I appreciate all everyone who subscribes to my channel so far. Um, I plan on coming up with a subsequent video. Um, so I will see you then. And if you haven't subscribed, I really appreciate that you would. And I thank you. And I will see you again.